Welcome back and thanks for joining us for another episode. This week we get Catalpa's bottom ready for the final paint. We're an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Today we are preparing the bottom of Catalpa for our anti foul paint. Because we painted the barrier coat on a few months ago, before we paint we have to sand the blush off the barrier coat and create a nice new surface for the bottom paint to stick to. Once that was done, Dad prepared our propeller for a coat of its own paint. Hi guys. Today we're going to be putting on prop speed. I'm just in the process of preparation. This is going to vary from everyone's prop. In our case, our prop has been hit pretty badly with electrolysis. This is the second time we've had prop speed on the boat. The first time we had a nice new prop and it worked really good. We were happy with it. This one, I haven't done it with the amount of electrolysis that's been into this bore, but we're gonna try and we'll let you know how it goes on a half eaten away propeller. So there is a bit of controversy surrounding prop speed. Some people like it, some people hate it. The people that hate it, from my experience, has been the people that sit in a marina and let their boat sit and foul up. This is not gonna help you in that way. If you're a cruiser and you're out cruising, your boat's in use and it's constantly getting cleaned by the use and yourself, like us when we're diving and whatnot, it takes literally one minute to wipe over with a soft cloth underneath the water and you've got a clean propeller. It's a bit like talking cats and monohull or aluminium versus fiberglass. There's gonna be a debate regardless, but from our experience, we liked it. Um, we're about to apply it again. But as I say, the only kicker in this one is that the prop has been hit with electrolysis pretty bad, so the surface isn't really flat, hence why I'm using grinder with like a 40 grit on there to really try and get in and clean it up as best as possible without removing too much material. So here is what has been a lot of electrolysis. So this boat sat in a marina for a good few years without these anodes protecting the um, propeller and as a result got eaten away with electrolysis. So we're going to try and bring it back to life as much as possible because um, they're not cheap and uh, get a little bit more life out of it and see how we go. So we're not going to hold prop speed to obviously the areas if it did fall off there. I'm going to do my best to get in and clean out where the pitting is, um, but hey, I can't say I've never applied it over a propeller with this much electrolysis. So After the propeller was ready, Dad decided we would apply the prop speed after we do the bottom paint. It's any foul day. Oh, hence why the total boat shirt's on, ready to uh, get this boat back in the water. It's very exciting. This is like one of the last jobs before we go back in the water, so. The only thing is it's not the last job. We just <laughs> want to make it feel like we're getting somewhere. We are doing it so that there is no excuses. Oh, like Once this paint is on, we can officially get put back in the water. Yeah. So, so we're just waiting for our sail, as you know. Boom, bang, and sail, and a few bits and pieces. Yeah, so a lot of stuff we are, have is in Phoenix. We have one more trip. We've got to do a trip within the next week, and then we can't go back to the States for a while, so. We're gonna go work that out. <laughs> We're gonna go and get all that stuff, but that's all right. We're going back in the water and let's go sailing. Let's go and have some fun. Where are the kids? One's up. Oh, he's down there. Morning. Bella. It's time to any foul. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to paint? Right now, the first step of doing the hull today is I am putting some barrier coat on the through holes because when we did the hull, there was no through holes in. So now I'm just going around putting barrier coat on the through holes, then we're going to go around and anti foul everything. Just before we start today, our task is anti fouling. Big thank you to Total Boat. So, what they've supplied us with here is a barrier coat as you would have seen in the previous episodes so that's a total boat epoxy barrier which we've dripped back the old gel coat and we've reapplied a barrier coat and now we're going to be putting some total boat any foul over the top we're going to put two coats over the whole boat hopefully a little bit more over the leading edges maybe three four five whatever's left we'll sort of two coats over the whole boat
All right, we've had a break. First coat's done. We haven't had a Kit Kat, but we've had a break. <laughs> second coat, we're about to put it on. Let's go! Guys, we are very close. So we've given the whole boat two coats. Bella's just going over the leading edges now, down along there, along up to the bow. I've just gone right around the waterline once, so there's three coats on all these little spots behind the propeller there, around the rudder. Um, all the spots that wear, we're just going over and giving it a third, fourth coat if we've got enough, but that's about it. We'll peel this tape off and I might wait a couple of days, I'll move these stands and then I'll paint them. I want to try and have as much done as possible. Generally, you just move the stands on the day and give it a bit of a paint, but uh, we do have a little bit of work underneath the boat. So we've got to drop the dagger board out, or the center board, and do the cavity and the center board. So I really just want to focus on that and that only. So I try and get every little bit done possible, and that way we can just focus on the center board. Otherwise, she's come up really good. This is the most satisfying part of the whole thing. Nah, the painting's pretty satisfying. We have been waiting to do this for a long time. Just leave that, and I've just got to do a yeah, little bit more work around that. there. You always adjust the waterline as liverboards. Just gets higher and higher every year, higher doesn't it? Higher and higher, but uh, yeah, no, it was pretty good, the waterline. We did, I can't remember now, we lifted it up to match the tape line, I think. We did go a little bit, but uh, yeah, we've got a generator now, so I might go. I think we all deserve a swim. Let's go to the beach, Cal. To the beach. It's our job today. We've anti-fouled the bottom of the boat, put the prop speed on tomorrow, and then once that is done, we can officially be put back in the water. We actually can't at the moment because the thing that they move us around, it's like a skateboard travel lift. It's not working, so we aren't actually able to go back in the water right this second. It's probably supposed to be fixed next week. It's Friday. They reckon it'll be up and going by Tuesday. So we'll see, but we're not ready because we're waiting for our sail. And once that is here, we will be out of here. So we're super excited. This is a really, felt really good to do this job today. So this afternoon is going to be our application of the prop speed. All right, so what do we got and what do we need? Before we do any tasks, we want our correct PPE, personal protective equipment. We want a respirator, we want some eye protection, and we've got some disposable gloves so we don't get all this uh, prop speed all over us. We want to keep this process nice and clean. So in between each stage, we don't want any contamination, oil from our fingers. Let's open the box up and get into it. We've got our little paddle, which we're going to need to stir up. And we have our instructions, which is pretty short, pretty self-explanatory. And they also have a pretty great tutorial online. And there'll probably be a better one from Sailing Catalpa. So <laughs> anyway, we also have our first step, which will be our wipe down. We have our second step, which is a wipe down metal conditioner. And then we have our metal etch primer. And then the final coat is on there, which is our clear coat. There's only uh, four steps to the process. Okay guys, this product can be applied over a number of different parts and components of the vessel, from rudders to skegs. In this situation, we're not used, using it over our skeg. We probably could have, but we chose not to. Um, all we'll be doing is applying it over the propeller. In this case, it's a folding max prop. 
and our shaft, which is an inch and three quarter shaft. We've masked up where the cutlass bearings are, we've masked up the anode, and we've masked up the anode on the propeller. So we're going to start with the shaft, and then we're going to finish with the propeller. That's going to need a good mix up. So if you don't mix this in properly, you could end up with a poor final result. So it says two to three minutes of mixing. I think it's going to take every bit of three minutes. It's starting to get there now. Still some thick bits in there, so we'll keep mixing. Get that nicely mixed up. First step the initial clean after putting on your PPE. Respirator, eye protection, gloves. Can you spin the top for me, Dad? Hold on, I might be able to. Step one complete, now onto the next one. Step two, this is the metal conditioner. So we're going to run over that same thing. Wipe it all on, wipe it all off, keep going until it's clean. Got nice clean microfiber rags here. Cleanliness is your best friend here. This is the next step. We're going to add our hardener into our etching primer. Give this a little mix up. I think it's a four to one, but we're just going to mix the whole lot. So obviously depending on the day, if it's cool, it's going to last longer. If it's hot, it's going to go off quicker. So we want to, we want to get this on and wait about three minutes and we're going to do the touch test sort of like you do with epoxy you know touch it you still want it tacky but you don't want it sticking to your finger it's a little bit hectic because there's time pressures <laughs> hey honey time pressures. three minutes between that last one and then this clear coat this is the final step it's going off right on three minutes like if it was a hot day oh. you wouldn't want it to be a hot day is what is what he's saying if you can't understand him you can't translate mask talk <laughs> clear coat going on okay so the shaft's done now he's onto the propeller a slight breeze so it's going off quite quick the touch test says it's ready all right final coat going on the clear coat That went pretty well. It went really quick, quicker than I expected. We've got a slight breeze, it's not really hot. So I highly wouldn't recommend doing this in the heat of the day. Um, the wind enough in an afternoon was enough to make this within the three minute window kick straight away. So there was no waiting. I was touched all over. It was dry, maybe two and a half minutes and it's not hot. So yeah, apart from that, it's just keep it clean, keep onto it and um, we'll see how it goes. My, only concern like I said with this is our prop has a lot of electrolysis so we'll see in the test of time how it actually goes because the prop's not in really good shape. It's finished. We are officially now ready to go back in the water. That was the last job on the bottom. There's plenty of jobs up top but doesn't matter we would be able to float and get put back in the water now so massive shout out to prop speed. I think Lee did an amazing job putting it on. Well done, honey. Well, if it doesn't work, I can't blame prop speed because I've had it on before and I was really happy with it. So I had it applied by a professional the first time. This time it's been the DIY. So uh, I'm a bit torn because our prop does have electrolysis. So maybe I could just blame it on that if it failed. <laughs> Otherwise, I think we'll be fine. It uh, looks good. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you for your support and thank you, Prop Speed. And maybe on the next episode, we go splash. 
or the one after. It'll be coming soon. Alright, stay tuned. Thanks guys. See you then.